Look at her! Now imagine her with wings! Ah! She... She's the symbol of friendship! She doesn't even have... What's happening, bronies? I love it when ponies show up in mainstream YouTube. However, the only time it happened already is with college humor and teens react. But the ponies are in the spotlight again as internet sensation Boxy is actually saying to her subscribers that she likes My Little Pony too. Welcome to the herd. And she made a video about Alicorn Twilight, essentially season three finale in a nutshell. All through season two, it's understood that Princess Luna and Princess Celestia are the only two, but then in comes motherfucking yep. Cadence, who isn't even in this calendar, I'm so glad. Cadence who is another alicorn that we've never heard of until now, but she's also a princess, Princess Cadence. And I guess you could say she kind of doesn't really like the idea. And turns into an alicorn! She turns into an alicorn?! Are you yep. shitting me?! Why?! 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 Oh, Katie, why did she turn into an alicorn, you may ask? Because she sucks Celestia's yep. dick, that's why! I can't, I can't. Guys, I can't. I yep. fucking... I've had issues with Twilight Sparkle from the beginning, but this is too much, okay? Just just on a basic level. She's already got the stupid yep. crown. Why do you gotta put her so entirely high above her friends? Now she's possibly a mortal and a princess? Because, because she learned the magic of friendship without her friends. She wouldn't even be in the running to be a stupid princess Twilight. Just go six minutes into the video and then you'll see the most hilarious rage I've ever seen any fan do. And she points out a very relevant thing called Pinkie Pie should be the princess. So I tweaked it a little bit and I added a few video clips into her th into her explanation. Saved her a little bit of work and check it out. If anyone is in the running to be princess of friendship, it's Pinkie Pie! Let's take this one at a time, shall we? Charity, have you ever thrown a party for someone? It's expensive! She throws parties for everyone all the fucking yep. time! She throws parties for people that she doesn't yep. fucking know! She's generous! Kindness! Pinkie Pie is like probably one of the nicest out of all of them. She's just as nice, if not nicer, than Fluttershy. Devotion? She's incredibly loyal to her friends. She sat by a mailbox for hours at a time. One of these days I'll have to go through and actually you know, show you like clips of the examples that I'm talking about, but honesty? Pinkie Pie has never told a lie to anyone. Her, she is the one that has coined the phrase, a pinky promise. Being honest to her friends is incredibly important to her. And then optimism, that is her little, that's her little thing. Leadership, yeah, she doesn't really have that because she, why the yep. f would she? She is the one that has understood the magic of friendship to its fullest extent at the, from the very beginning. Normally, when she has an episode where it's focused on her, where she has to learn something, halfway through the episode, she understands that she's done something wrong. She learns her lesson halfway through learning the lesson, you know, and then she has to like continue, you know, working through it and at the end of the episode she like writes a letter. So which is why I donated 5,000 of my dollars to begin the Earth Pony University. Earth Pony University exclusively for Earth Ponies so they could learn how to deal with being lower than the rest. <laughs> Alright bronies, this second video is a mashup of two of my favorite things, Tron and My Little Pony. Yeah, no yep. shit, I love that second one. Oh my god! Wow! Angel's nice to Fluttershy. The creator of the video is Al Stiff, and he made the video in only two months. I find it kind of crazy because he not only did 2D animation, which looked pretty good, but he also made 3D animation that looked really shaky. So 
overall, it's an awesome video and it's really quick too. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. <laughs> Alright, so this week's Brony song is made by the Caden L. Wellborn. And it's gonna be a little different. I usually make the PMV that flashes in the background while the song's playing, but I decided to use someone else's video. Not because I'm lazy, but because the Emma Storm did a really good job. Check it out. <laughs> Make the call. Was it enough pony? Or was it needing up? <laughs> but you know what else could use more pony? The comic question of the day, which is brought to you by Jason the Bouse. One, two, three, four. And he writes, how would the ponies react to an armored core falling from the sky? So just leave your interesting or creative response in the comment section below. Well, thank you for watching this week's episode of Equals P. I'm for Soup, and this message just got 20% cooler. So tell me, bronies, how would Octavia make a cup of tea in the morning? <laughs>